morning, teacher. I'm fine. Thanks. Uh, and you? Excellent, Grace. Grace, tell me, Grace, how was your weekend? I mean, last weekend, uh, last week, how was it, Grace? What, what did you do? No. You were on, on vacation, right, from the school? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I had two, two weeks for vacation. Exactly, exactly, exactly. And tell me, Grace, what, what did you do these weeks? <laughs> I, I, I don't remember uh, very well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, last, uh, last Saturday. Very good. Uh, I was at home. Oh, I, <laughs> I attended my, my plans. <laughs> okay, and um, your plans. And um, what, what were your plans? Uh, I had um uh, uh, ah, how do you say maceta? Ah, flower pot. Uh, then I'm going to write there on the chat. A flower but, pot? Very good, yes. Uh, and in in this uh, in this uh, there and uh, there were a lot of plants. I don't know yes. how to say uh, los camotes de las plantas. The sprouts, you can say like this, look at the next name. The sprouts. No, it's, wait a minute. Sprouts. Los, um, eso es, eso es los, este, los que nacen, ¿no? Los que van naciendo, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ah, yes. Yeah. That is the sprouts or the plants? The plants or the plants? Uh, well, I, I have a lot of plants on a pocket. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, in, in, in a flower pot? <laughs> in a flower pot. Um, I separate in different, in different uh, flower pots. Okay. okay, 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 okay. And now I have many, many plants. <laughs> <laughs> and are they, um, these, are they flowers or are they um, product plants? For example, are they chili plants? Are they, for example, lettuce plants? Are they avocado plants? No, I think <laughs> all, all are flowers. Ah, okay. You think you're not sure? <laughs> no, teacher. <laughs> Grace, how come you are not sure of the plants you have? Uh, well, I don't know. I have uh, a plant, it's called uh, Mala Madre. Mala madre, okay. What is that? Yes. Is that a plant? It's, yes, it's a plant, but I only see um, a green, green, how do you say, yojas? Uh, leaves, green leaves. Green leaves, yes. I never, I, I have never seen a flower in this plant. <laughs> uh, or probably okay. the flower is the uh, uh, another thing green. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Chris, very good. Okay, so you were working in your personal garden. Okay, and, and then Chris, what is what do you do? Well, <laughs> I um I I was at home with my cats. Um, and seeing, uh, I saw the, the TV is so popular with my party. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And what movie did you see? A movie, uh, when yesterday I saw The Mask. The Mask, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Very good, okay. Oh, I, I remember last Sunday. I have a uh, visit. Okay. Uh, because my 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 uncle, my my cousins, uh, comes comes to home. Ah, uh, came home. Came home. Came home. Okay. In the past. Yes, sure. Okay. And um, so, and um, what did you do with them? Did you watch a movie with them? Did you play a board game with them? No, teacher. 
I I didn't have internet. Oh really? Why I, not? I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we we were saying the the TV movies, but all of this was about the. Uh, how do you say Semana Santa? Ah, Easter. You can say Easter. Look. Easter. 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 Yes, teacher. All the movies was about the Easter. <laughs> Very good. Excellent, Chris. Excellent. Chris, and do you speak with your friends? I mean, were you in touch with any of your friends or your classmates? Mm, yes, teacher, because we are we, we are organizing. We are organizing. We are organizing. We are organizing yes. For social confine. Ah, exactly, exactly. And how is it going? Is it, is it finished? No, teacher. No? We will finish our campaign with a ready program. Ah, exactly, exactly. And how is it going? Fine? Or is it okay. going slow? Uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> okay. Because we are... We are posting on Facebook, WhatsApp, and TikTok. Um, we have we 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 have a uh, good uh, responses. Ah, really? Yes. Very Actually. Good. Yes. Uh, since last uh, Wednesday. Yes. We start with a challenge. Okay. Uh, and what and what is the challenge? Um, there is about different activities. Uh, the first day was about uh, to doing a mandala. Okay. Uh, another day was for doing exercise, uh, yoga, <laughs> uh, listening, uh, relaxing songs. Very good. Yes, is for try different different methods okay and um, identify what's what is the ideal for 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 you <laughs> for free for everyone okay i mean do you mean time to do free activities sorry do you mean to do free activities Free activities. Uh -huh. Is that what you mean when you say for free? Yes. Okay. 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 So it's basically the activities done by people, but um, I mean, not obligatory if they want to do them. Yes, teacher. It's for uh, people to want to, uh, to participate. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting, very good. Okay, okay. Chris, and tell me, how are how are your pets? Uh, they are fine. Excellent, excellent. And how are your family? Fine too. Right, very good. Okay, very good, Chris. Okay, what about my dear friend Anna? Good morning, Anna. How are you, Anna? Hello. Good morning. Anna, good morning, Anna. Tell me, Anna, how was your last weekend? How was your, your last week? Fine, teacher. Uh, for me, fine, but I I went to visit my grandma yes. last weekend. Yes. And we, we realized uh, they didn't, no, they haven't have um, water, uh, uh, service de agua. Uh -huh, water service? Water service uh, I don't uh, two weeks ago. Oh, so they haven't had water for two weeks. Two weeks, uh -huh, yeah, four weeks, yes. And wow. that is we, too much. yes, I know that uh, we have uh, more family uh, near the live. Um, okay. We call them. And we realized uh, they have, they have 
no, they had have a, a, a month and half. Uh, With no water? Yes. <laughs> and and, and that, that is too, that's just crazy. And where do they live? I mean, what, what, what's the name? What's the place of where they uh, live? Here in Zumpango. Um, yes. But where they lived, um, um, the services um, supply. Uh, yeah. Ah, supply, very good, yes. Uh, supply uh, by. By the Sayuca, just as a country. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's supplied by Sayuca and all the uh, two, two um, towns, uh, San Miguel and San Lorenzo, didn't have water. And I, I listened. Uh, other towns uh, didn't have water too, but it is ah, because they, are, they. I listened that. I there okay. I listened that other towns look. Other towns. Oh sorry, other towns didn't have water either. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Why? Why? Remember either. Why? Why either? Remember my girls. Either is for the negative, for example, you can say, you can say, maybe Anna tells me, ah, I feel happy. And then I said, I am happy too, okay? But if Anna says, I don't feel happy, then I will say, I don't feel happy either. So two is for affirmative sentences and, and either, either is for negative sentences. Very good, Anna. It, so, other towns, they, didn't um, have, they didn't have water, water either. Okay. Uh, but it is because the, how do you say, pozos? Ah, the wells. The, the wells? Como, como bueno. Así como, okay. like, how yeah. are you? I am well, okay. The wells. Okay. Uh -huh. The wells have, uh, have been man maintenance. Ah, have been in maintenance. Yeah, in maintenance. Yes. Um, but... It's too much time, teacher. My exactly. family need obviously everybody needs uh, water to, uh, to for the drinking for um uh, for everything, teacher. I don't know. Well, obviously, Anna. Obviously, yes. My yes. grandpa have uh, some lunch. Okay. Uh, where there are uh, some how do you say toma de agua? Ah, some water faucets. Some water faucets, but uh, last week uh, this water faucet uh, was dry. Okay. Um, and now they uh, they are um, coming. Yeah. Yeah, they are coming. Yes. Here at home because um, we we. We ah, have had water um, ah, okay. all the time. Okay, so there in your, in your house, you have uh, water. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anna, that, that is a big problem. Anna. But as you said, Anna, exactly, I agree with you. It's too much time. Two weeks is too much time. Imagine, imagine uh, a month. That is just crazy, okay? No, Anna, that, that's too bad, Anna, huh? And I mean, Anna, Anna, um, what have people done? Have they gone to complain to the to the township? Con el, con el presidente municipal? Have they gone to the to speak? Have they gone to speak to the township? I don't know, teacher. It's a good question. I don't know. Uh, they say um, more or less at 4 a.m. Yes. Um, uh, how do you say pipa de agua? Ah, water pipe or water, water tanks. Pipe. Yes. Ah, water tanks. Uh, uh, repartir. <laughs> ah, chairs. Supply, no. uh -huh, chairs. Supplies, very good. Uh -huh. yeah. I would say supplies. Um, uh -huh. 
some water tanks, uh, supplies, uh, supplies and water in their um, uh, uh, street, <laughs> near uh -huh. the street. But yes. uh, it's too early, teacher. Imagine in the wake up every or or wake up or stay um, without without sleep until 4 a.m. That's too crazy. Yes, it's too crazy, Anna. So, so Anna, you are saying that, yes, they, they provide them, uh, people with water, okay, but they have to wait for the pipe uh, either too early or either too, too late at night. Yes, uh, the, the problem is my family didn't have a cistern. Ah, exactly, a water well. A water well. A water well, a water well. Because I have an uncle who lives uh, there, but he has uh, water well. Okay. And he, he didn't have the same problem. Ah, no, because he ordered, for sure, he ordered for the, for the water pipe, and then he put all the water into his well. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, and that's the point. You see, um, here, here where I live, which is um, my house and which also your house, but my, my students. Thank you. Here, we, we don't have um, water tanks. I mean, the houses, all of the houses here um, don't have water tanks. Maybe quite a few, quite a few houses. But here where I live, um, we don't have problems with water. Why? Because my house, which is a house, is near a... a um, is near a lake. So mm -hmm. this lake provides water to all these units or to all these neighborhoods. But yes, and I have heard that uh, some, some parts of Tisayuca have the same problems. They don't have water. Imagine Anna in Mexico City. Yes, teacher, uh, I it's crazy because I don't know, uh, for, uh, for example, here in Zumpango, there are many, I don't know if there are many wells, but okay. there are wells. Okay. And, and if you if you need water, uh, how do you say, cabe la posibilidad? Here. It might be, look, it might be, Cabe la posibilidad, okay? Or it maybe, or maybe it's slightly, for example, it's slightly, for example, it's slightly to have a party, okay? Cabe la posibilidad de tener una fiesta. Then you can change for whatever you want, okay? You can say, for example, it's slightly, it's slightly, okay, to fail the semester. Fail the semester. Cabe la posibilidad de que te repruebe el, el semestre. Okay. It's likely to to drink water uh, which is supplied by by whales, but okay. in Mexico City, no. No, exactly. It's no. possible to drink water that is supplied in in how do you say? <laughs> Sorry, how do you say? Yes. Uh, the faucet? Yeah. Uh -huh, exactly, yes, exactly, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 teacher. Come on, Anna, ties to bad, Anna. Yes, teacher. So now your family is going to your house for water, I mean, to get the shower, <laughs> to wash clothes. Some of them, yes, teacher. My, grand, my grandpa's and uh, one of my uncle with, with her, Anna, with his oh. wife. Ah, okay, okay, obviously. Yes, Good. And, and tell me, how, how is your job? Fine, teacher. <laughs> it's stressing, but it's okay. <laughs> the stressing? Why yeah. are you stressing, Anna? Because this week, it's supposed this week was my last. <laughs> and with documentation, with documents. Okay. But... 
uh, but no, because my boss forget, uh, I know, forgot um, white uh, document in the uh, list. Um, and Anna, Anna realized, um, uh, yeah, realized this. Okay. I realized, yes, 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 good. Yes. Um, me, me, me di cuenta, no? Uh -huh. And I realized uh, about it, and my boss said, if I could um, help him with this document, so okay. I need to do this document for next week. <laughs> <laughs> for next week? <laughs> yes. And is it is it is it a lot? Uh, no, it's it's a big document, but this easy. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Come on, Nana. Okay, okay. So you were basically working, right? Sorry? You were working? Yeah. Very good. Anna, and what did you do uh, the, um, the Easter days? I mean, Thursday and Friday, in which you didn't work? I went uh, with my, my grandma because she's... Um, Muy creyente. Ah, she's a believer. Yeah, she's a believer. Okay. So my mom and I went with her uh, to to listen to mass. Yeah, Okay. Uh -huh. mass. Yes, exactly. Good. To listen to mass by TV. Okay. Uh, because my grandma is recently uh, operada. Okay, she, she has been operated. Yeah, she okay. has been operated. And, and that's it. Very good. Okay. I good didn't enough. do <laughs> anything special. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Anna. Anna, and what's your opinion, Anna, of people going to the sea, going to the beaches, Mexican beaches? Uh, and now these beaches, are in, or at least those last weeks, they were crowded. What's your opinion of that? They are crazy people, teacher. <laughs> it, it, for me, is uh, something. Um, I'm feel um, angry. How do you very, say very angry? <laughs> exactly. I feel. Um, when I, I mean, the palabra, chicas, okay, but you can say, I feel angry, I feel very angry, but in, in the top, the maximum. Because I feel pissed off. There. I feel pissed off. I or I am pissed off. Pissed off. Pissed okay. off is, is, a, is a top of being angry, very angry, pissed off. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel pissed off because, uh, about people who, who, do, who do it because my best friend has uh, his family into the hospital, the hospital. Ah, it's true, Anna, it's true, I remember, yes. And her brother uh, passed, passed away, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And they they tried to, to, ah, uh, try to, to follow follow the the, the regulations the, 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 the security measures to they try to yeah, follow the, the measures they try to follow the security measures very good and they 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 were sick and it's it's incredible how people um, didn't think about uh, this this um enfermedad sí? this no. sickness this sickness sickness yes uh, didn't uh, select uh, people uh, who is taking take who is taking care or not and they i don't know the cherries for me is very, very, very angry. <laughs> it's like, it's like um, irresponsible, I don't know. Irresponsible yes, yes. people. 
Yes. Yes, Ana, you understand. Wow, Ana, that is crazy, Ana. That is crazy. I, I don't know, Ana, but um, in other countries, uh, for example, France, uh, uh, again, Italy, they are, they are again closing everything because of the tear wave is hitting, okay? The COVID tear wave is hitting them. But here in Mexico, here, here in Mexico, it seems that uh, there is no more virus, there is no more danger, and everything seems to be like uh, the old days, right? Yes, teacher. Um, I don't know. I hope these people didn't, I uh, know, don't, don't be sick. And Very good. No, it's, it's, but it's it's difficult. Difficult, it's correct to say don't be sick. Exactly, exactly. Don't be exactly. Yes. I hope <laughs> they don't be sick, exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I hope they don't be sick, but. But it's difficult, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Very good. What about my dear friend, Jime? Good morning, Jime. How are you, Jime? Hello, hello. I'm fine. <laughs> good, Jime. Jime, how was your last weekend, Jime? And how was your, your, your last weekend? What do you do? Well, fine. I, do, I didn't do nothing interesting. <laughs> I only spent time in the school. Um, take care of my my granny and my and my pets. Okay. Um, give classes. Okay, okay, okay. And awesome. how how is school going? Fine. Well, I had a lot of um stuff to read because we are in this uh trimester. We are going to work with communities of species. So okay. we need to understand all the, um, how to say, all the weather, the um, the floor, no, uh, something like topography, no, geology, um, uh, hydrology, no, something like that. And so we need to try to to find information all of this. Okay. And understand all the interactions, uh, biotics and abiotics in the environment to, okay. to give a, a, a good analysis good. of the of communities we uh, in both communities. No, in this case, we are going to work with um, vegetables uh, with Very with good. plants and. And um, a birds, no, okay. we are we are going to uh, work with them. Uh, so I need to understand, for example, uh, some of uh, birds eat um, plants and other birds eat uh, other animals. You know, so I need to understand uh, the importance of um uh, invertebrate and live there. You no, know? and I need uh, and obviously the the plants. Um, give us the information uh, why they live there, no, um, okay. something like that. But Very the good. other problem is the some birds that uh, back, no, to to this place to other places. No? Very good. Uh, so okay. I'm, yeah. <laughs> interesting, Jimé. Very interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm going to work uh, with the um, uh, Cuenca. De Mexico. Ah, okay. With Mexican. Mexico. Yes. With yeah. Mexican cane, cane. I'm going to work with, with the Me Mexican cane. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying to find a lot of information, for example, what activities, uh, human activities in this place. Now you know that uh, now it's a city, but uh, I'm going to try. I'm uh, finding information. Uh, many, many, many years ago, no. Uh, okay. After to 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 the people establishing this place. Uh, after people establishing or before people establishing? After, no. Ah. Before. Before. Ah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Very good, Jimmy. Jimmy, and tell me, Jimmy, 
How were your classes? Were you teaching um, either mathematics, Spanish? Well, I only am giving classes at uh, York uh, to reading and mathematics. Okay. But she's a year old, three, elementary school, three. Okay. So and okay. I'm going, to, uh, I'm working with uh, a guy, well, no, a, a boy. Uh, I'm helping with homework. Okay. Uh, um another girl that i start uh, with she uh, wednesday day in wednesday yes in wednesday and and i'm going to help her to reading because she didn't uh, read well well must be must be <laughs> she didn't read nothing and she is in she didn't reading. read anything she didn't, she didn't read. read anything uh she is in two of elementary school okay Okay, okay. And, and that I and I'm working with a uh, kindergarten children. Okay. Children. Good, Jime. Jime, and tell me, Jime, how 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 are your pets? They are fine. Uh, my grandma is here, so my sister is here with her. Okay. Uh, so. The cat it's how to say more happy because it's, it's happier. Uh, happier. It's happier. Okay. It's happier because uh, she him mom is here. <laughs> <laughs> uh how is Camila? She's fine. She she's fine, she didn't do nothing. She's a really good girl. <laughs> Very good, Kimi. Kimi, and how is the construction going? Fine. Well, we finished with the construction. You are only going to put all the um, all the bathroom. I mean, all the the shower, no? Because okay. we can't put not in the shower. The bathroom is there, but no, the, the shower. Very good. And the um, and the connection uh, with the. Um, warm uh, weather okay and the uh, weather Very good. because we didn't do anything like that but now it's it's fine it's um como sería, um, it's habitable. ah yes exactly yes uh, it's um this livable livable ah, it's livable, livable habitable livable Ah, okay, 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 very good. Here, interesting. Okay, interesting. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, okay. What about my dear friend Adriana? Good morning, Adriana. How are you? Good morning, teacher. Um, <laughs> so so. So so. Why so so, Adriana? Um, because um, uh, you remember um, uh, two weeks two weeks ago, um, so I. I say that that I I fell. Exactly, I remember. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so uh, all this week I have a um, pain. Uh, back pain, teacher. Really, enough? That's too bad. Really, teacher. I so it's <laughs> but I I went to. To when a missus, yes, I don't know how how do you say um, this is a señor que cura. Ah, I went with um with a healer, you can say a healer. I went with a healer, una señora de cura. Healer. Okay. Yes, so uh, I I. I feel, feel. Yes. Will I feel um, better, mejor? Ah, yes, I felt. I felt better. Me I felt mejor. better. Yes. Ah, yes, okay. teacher, so I, I, I feel the, uh, my body tired. Very good, yes. Yes, teacher. And, I, and are you taking any medication? 
Yes, teacher. Um, okay. How do you say anti-inflammatories? Exactly. Anti. Anti swelling. Anti swelling. Anti swelling. Okay. Yes, teacher. And um, very good. Okay, and very good. And how often are you taking your medication? Every day, once a week, um, once a day. Uh, how do you say cada ocho horas? Uh, every eight hours. Every eight hours. There. Every eight hours. Ah, Every, okay, okay. This, uh, for three, three days. Very good. Adriana, Adriana and tell me, um, how are your plans, Adriana? I don't know, teacher. Oh, come on, Adriana, I, why not? Um, because I can't do up uh, the roof to I, see I my plants. I can't, I can't go up. I can't. Because I can't go up. I can go out. Oh, exactly. So they, they are on the roof of your house. Yes, teacher. So my mother um tell me that I I can't so exactly. I only see um uh I go away lejos a lo lejos far away. I only see far them far away. away. Yes, okay. And then, uh, how's your boyfriend? Excellent teacher. Very good. Okay. May I find uh, yesterday I, I cooked um, uh, chicken wings. <laughs> and then again? So, <laughs> ah, yes, but I, I cooked it. I, I prepared <laughs> my chicken wings. <laughs> okay, very good. Adriana, so, uh, how are they? Delicious? Yes, teacher, this is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Adriana. Adriana, someday you usually invite us, huh? Yes, teacher. When the quarantine um, okay. se acabe. When the quarantine is over. It's over, yes, teacher. Exactly, Adriana. It's true. It's true. It's true. Very good, Adriana. And then, and how is family? Fine, teacher. Fine. Very Only good. my my father is um a tired, but he's fine. Tired. Okay. Why? Um, tired. Yes. Ha, has he been working? Yes, teacher. Uh, he was in in Toluca. Okay. So I uh, come to to the house. So it's um um travel a uh, short travel, but okay. um in the morning. Ah, so he was not working in Toluca, so he, he had to commute from Zumbago uh, to Toluca. No, no. Um, okay. he he had um um how do you say cargar? To load. To, to carry. To carry, uh, to carry the, the car in, in Toluca. So he. Ah, he ah okay. Yes, sir. Ah, so he had a car. Yeah, I understand. So he had the car, you can say. He had the car loaded in Toluca. Look at this. He had a car loaded. The car loaded in Toluca. Uh, he had a car. car loaded in Toluca. So, in Toluca, no? Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Yes. And, and then he returned to Zumbango. Yes, teacher. So, it's, it's a short, but he's so tired because in the morning, he had. In the morning, is the long, low, 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 low. Yes. La carga? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Loading. Loading. Ah, okay. And then in, in the afternoon he has to return. Yes, teacher. In the in the morning. In the morning. Ah, okay. In the okay. Early, early is madrugada. Um, um, er, you can say madrugada, look. Okay. Early morning. Early morning. Early morning. Uh -huh. La madrugada. 
Early okay. morning, uh, he was in Toluca. And the morning, he has in Tizayuca. Oh, he my. was in, in, in Tizayuca. That is crazy. Yes, teacher. <laughs> and then uh, your father works very hard, huh? Uh, so, so, teacher, is hard, but um, I feel like... <laughs> uh, is, is your father a truck driver? Uh, no, a uh, trailer driver, driver. Oh, a lorry driver. Look at this. Uh, yes, teacher. A lorry driver. Oh, that is, that is difficult, Adela, no? Yes. You know, Adela, that, that is, um, when I was a child, I remember that that was one of my dreams, to be a lorry driver. However, I never had the opportunity to, to drive a, a truck, to drive a lorry. But, but that is something that, that I would like to do some, someday. I drive my vans, I drive my cars, but I have never driven a, 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 a lorry. And I think it's uh -huh. difficult. I think it's difficult, but I, I would like to, to do that someday. Yes, teacher. I think it's a difficult because um, you can to see uh, to see in front of the the lorry. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's difficult because when when he go to park the, the car, you can to see the other car in front of of you is is crazy <laughs> how how they they had to could they say calcular they have to calculate Cal calculate to 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 the car no oh, i don't know <laughs> it's Exactly, it's true, it's true, it's true. Very good, Adriana, very good. Okay, my dear friends, okay, so listen, let's begin, okay. Last week, I shared on, on WhatsApp, okay, a new alliance that we have at the, at the academy, okay. This alliance is called Wakelet, okay. So Wakelet is, is a international company for education. They are located in England, okay. And, and basically what they do is they sponsor or they promote okay, their, their services through schools. It means that um, you need to fulfill, you need to have some requirements in order to be, um, to be part of the Wakelet School Program, okay? So as I, look, let me share one image, okay? So last week I was notified that um, that the, that the academy is part of Wigglet now. No, let me share it with you. It's here, okay. So, okay, it says, I want welcome to our newest Wigglet schools. Okay, here you have many different schools from all, um, from all the planet, okay. And it's here, okay, it's ours, okay. It means that now we also have the benefit from Wigglet, okay, the Education Alliance from Wigglet. It means that all certifications, all diplomas, will have two validations, okay? Well, three validations. One from ICLT, remember, okay? When the academy, the academy is part of ICLT, and it's also part of INIPAC, okay? It's also part of Microsoft, and now it's also part of Wakelet. So with all of those alliances, okay, it means that, especially for Wakelet, we can be invited to take part into international events. So quite soon, I hope that in May, in May they are organizing a large event all over the planet with all the schools. Basically is uh, to connect on Wiglet, okay? And speak to other people, to other students. Basically Wiglet organizes uh, events on, for example, on weather change, on social problems, on immigration. Okay, so basically they speak about the major problems, okay, but in English, okay? That is one part, okay? Another part is that whenever you get a diploma from the school, from the academy, you will also have the, the logo and the certification from Wailet. I want to, to show you one, uh, one tool that Wailet also has, okay? And I will be sharing this with you, okay? Look, Wailet also provides a service for classes, okay, for online classes. It's here, okay. 
here I, I, I designed this for you, okay? This is a way in which uh, teachers can have all the information for a class into one place. And this place is called Quader, okay? For example, here, talk training, lesson 15, promotion, pensions and awards, okay? Here I wrote the, the goal. In this lesson, you will learn the proper vocabulary to speak about pensions, promotion and awards in business English, okay? So I'm going to share this with you so that you can also have it. And with all the content that I put here, look, I put here the grammar for this class. I also put here the vocabulary. I put, put here the listening. And I also added a section which is called business idioms. With this um, link, you will have access to all of this information, okay? I'm going to paste the link there on, on the chat. There it is, okay? And from now on, okay, I will be using Wailet for the class, okay? Why? Because it's a container for all the topics, for all the activities, and I can share that information with you for free. The best thing is that everything is free. You won't have to pay anything, okay? What do you think, Liz? Uh, well, I don't know, teacher, it's interesting and it is good for for all of us and the other students. Very good, exactly, exactly. Good. I want to share with you here. You can also go to Wakelet, okay? It's, it's obviously on Facebook, okay? You can type in Wakelet, okay? Type here, Wakelet, Empresa de Internet, okay? Manchester, Reino Unido. Here, you click here, okay? This is the, the site for Wakelet. And here you have all of the opportunities, all of the um, events that they are organizing. Okay, and we are going to be invited. They are the training staff. Okay, I took a training with them yesterday afternoon. And also with them, okay. The, I took this one, Tech Coach Special. And the, um, here you have it, okay. Here you have it. the announcement, okay. And obviously, if, if I click on here, okay, you will see that we are part of Wiglet, okay? Okay, what do you think, Ana? What's your opinion of this, Ana? I think it's a good uh, uh, option, experience, because we we have the opportunity to, to um, ampliar Ah, yes, to amplify. To amplify our vocabulary or um, or knowledge or um, uh, the people we uh, no people and <clears throat> or uh, speaking. How do you say? Or, exactly. uh, the people who we speak to. Aha. Uh -huh. The people the we accent, speak. Accent? The accent? Aha, uh -huh, the accent, exactly. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Okay, okay, very good. What about um, Jime? What do you think, Jime? I believe that it's really nice, no? Because you can learn more about the other places. Exactly. You can speak with other people. Exactly, exactly. It's true. It's true. Very good. What about Adriana? What do you think, Adriana? It's um I think it's it's fine teacher it's okay uh, because um um I don't have the, the word um but I I <laughs> I think it's fine, teacher. <laughs> very good, okay. Okay, then, very good, okay. So very good, let's begin, okay. I'm going to share my screen, okay. And let's start, okay, wait a minute. Very good. As I said, okay, you have all the information there on the link, you just need to click on the link and you will have access to all of it, okay. So let's start with some grammar review, okay. So you just click here, okay, click here, and you, and the system, the system, okay, will open a window, okay, with the grammar activities, okay. The grammar activities for for today, okay. Let's begin with some conditional sentences, okay. Let's practice some conditional, which I'm sure 
for you, it should be super easy, okay? For example, it says, if you in a hurry leave that to me, you will be, if you were, if you are, if you was, if you are being, super easy. So here, we need to, to choose, okay? Uh, if you are, okay, if you are in a hurry, leave that to me, okay? Also, if, if you can, you can open, uh, open the, the link, okay? And go, go to page number 132, okay? 132 from, from the link that I shared with you, okay? Let, let me, let me move it, okay, wait a minute. And let's begin with number, from number 16 to number, okay, 20, okay? So these should be super easy for you, my friends, okay? You, you shouldn't have any problem with them. Okay, my friends, ready? Good, Anna. What about Anna? Let's say number 16, Anna. If you, what? Yeah. If you want to please an English person, be very polite about his garden. If you want to. Very good, okay. And what about Chris? You. You will, you will miss the train. If you don't take a taxi. Super easy, very good, okay. What about uh, Hime? We... Mm, I didn't ask for uh, yet, uh, he didn't. No, not yet, okay. okay. What about Adriana? We... I I think maybe yes we we don't know 
uh, if they will come. Perfect. Very good. Adriana, with security, okay? With security, okay? That's good. Exactly. With security, <laughs> okay? With security, okay? What about Jime? If you want to be healthy, Jime. Go in for sports. Exactly, going for sports, okay? Going, okay, going for. Look at the expression, going for. All of these are instant expression, okay? I'm going to do it here. Going for, okay? That is similar, similar to start. Start, okay? So you can say you should go in for sports or you should start sports. Okay. What about uh, Anna? If you. If you want, uh, Anna. <laughs> Sorry. If you visit Oxford, you will see some interesting old buildings. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Um, it's letter B or letter E? A I. <laughs> ah, sorry. Letter E. Okay. Sorry. I was going to be going on. So if you visit Oxford, you will see some interesting old buildings. Good. Exactly. Very good, my guess. Okay. So let's continue. Okay. Very good. So let's move on to, to type two. Okay. If he in Tokyo, he us. Super easy. Okay. If he, look at this. If he were in Tokyo, look. If he were in Tokyo, he would visit us. Okay. This is conditional number two. Okay. Okay. Please continue, please, from number two to number six. Okay. Good. Well, please, let's say, please, uh, Anna, if he, if he, if he were ill, he would stay at home. If he were ill, okay. Remember, ill, similar to sick, okay, enfermo. Well, please, Chris, what would you do? What would you do if a millionaire? Give you a lot of money. Letter A, B, C, D, E. E? E, almost, almost gave. What would you do if a millionaire gave you a lot of money? Okay. What up, please, Adriana? If it. If it is not late, I should go with you. Or look, if it were not, look, 
Remember, okay, remember. Let me explain, okay? Remember. Second conditional, okay? The technical name is second conditional, okay? Second conditional is like this, for example. If I, look, for example, if I were rich, okay, I would buy a big house, okay? Or if if uh, if Peter if Peter I don't know uh, where if Peter had a lot of money, okay, he will live he will live in Cancun. Okay, remember there are two conditions. Okay, two two important parts of grammar. Part one in the if clause. If clause, okay. If clause is in the past, okay. Okay, like if I were rich, if Peter had, if Mario, if Mario won, okay. And the result clause, look at the result clause, or la clausula or enunciado, la, la clausula resultante, the result clause is always with would plus verb in simple form, okay? The here, I will buy a big house, he will live in Cancun, okay? Remember, remember, this second conditional means or is used to complain, okay? About the present. The here, if I were rich, I will buy a big house. What is the reality? Is that I am not rich and I don't have a big house. If Peter had a lot of money, he will live in Cancun. What is the real thing is that Peter doesn't have any money and he doesn't live in Cancun. Okay, and this is to complain about the present. As I said before, I repeat, okay, there are two clauses. The if clause, which is in the, in the past, where had an any verb in the past, and there is a clause, which was with would plus verb in simple form, okay? Okay, could you please, please copy this in the grammar, please? This in the grammar review. Very good. Okay. I'm going to this. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. What about please, Anna? Number, number five, Anna, please. Yep. If I needed the car my, myself, I would let it. I know. I would let you see. You use it. <laughs> let you use it. Okay. If I needed a car, there Ana dice, si yo necesita el carro para mí mismo o para mí, mm -hmm. yo te permitiría usarlo. Si yo ah, necesitara. No. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't need the letter C. I didn't need. Almost, almost, Ana, almost, almost, almost. One more, one more. This way, Ana. Look. If I didn't yeah, need yeah, the car. Yeah, you would let, yes. It's like, if I didn't need the car myself, I would let you use it. ¿Qué diré? Si yo no necesita el carro para mí, te dejaría usarlo. Pero que es la realidad, que lo necesito y no lo vas a usar. Okay. 
What about this? Number six is this house. Uh, this house looks bad. Uh, no. uh, good look. Better good look. if they paint, paint it, put the rat and um plant flowers. Leather. E, no? E. <laughs> Yes. Will this house will look better if they painted it, cut the grass, and plant the flowers? Yes. Very good. Exactly. 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 Good. Okay. Let's let's see some more. Okay. Let's move on from number seven. Okay. To number eleven. Okay. If I, you, I never heard. Okay. Good morning. When you're ready, you tell me, okay? Nineteen is ready. <laughs> Very good, guys. Okay. What about Greece, please? Very good, Anna. Good. What about number? Uh, what about number seven for Greece? Can you please read this? Uh, it's in number seven. Yes. If I were you, I would forgive never her. Exactly. If I were you, exactly, I will forgive never her. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, Anna, I, I am sure Mike. I'm sure Mike will lend you some money. I will be surprised if he refused. I will be surprised. Uh, Adriana, many people. Uh, 
Uh, many people will be out of work if that factory uh, will be closed down. Almost, if that factory were closed down, okay? We, 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 don't use, we don't use will with separation, okay? We only use would, which is here, will be out. And the remember, and the other part is simple past. Here is simple past passive, okay? The fact that you were closed down. Chris, I... Um, I... Ah, uh, I, I, ah. Uh. You want to do okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I couldn't mind living in England if the weather were better. Exactly, very good, Chris, exactly. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, very good. I wouldn't mind living in England if the weather were better, can you say? No me molestaría, bien, chicas. ¿Cómo se usa la frase? Would don't mind. No. I would don't mind. Ok. No me molestaría. Ok. Y ven el verbo. Living. I would don't mind. Uh, like I said here. Living. Eating. Ok. You can say living. Eating. Staying. Ok. If the weather were better, no me muestra vivir en Inglaterra si el clima fuera mejor. Very good, my friends. Very good. Okay. Okay, so I think the conditional for you is good now. Let's see conditional type three, okay? The boy, mm -hmm, he says at home an hour before. If he, okay, he's at school at one o'clock last month, last Monday. Okay, good. The boy, Now uh, at home, and we for ah, this one, okay. The the boy, okay. He, no, sorry. Hey, the boy will be okay at home an hour before if he had left his school at one o'clock last Monday, okay. Teacher. Yes. I think it's letter E. Uh, e, this one. The boy would have been at home an hour before if he had left his school at one o'clock last month. Exactly, it's true. I was wrong. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Good letter E. The boy would have been, is, el chico había estado en casa, okay, una hora antes, si él hubiese salido, okay, de su escuela a la una de la tarde el lunes pasado, okay. Very good, okay. So let, let's, okay, let's continue with, please, for number two, okay, to number five, okay. Remember, remember, conditional two, okay. Sorry, type three. To here, conditional three, okay. For example, you can say, if I had known, I would have told you, okay? If I had been rich, okay? I would have bought a big house. Here, my friends, look at, the, look at the clause, okay? The if clause, okay? The if clause is with if clause here. Yeah is with past perfect, okay? And the result clause, okay, is with would, sorry, would plus have, okay, would plus present perfect, okay? And the use, remember the use is for, um, Complaints, okay, about things in the past, okay, that can't be changed. Okay, 
complaints about things in the past can be changed. Pues ahora aquí, if I had known, I would have told you. Si hubiera sabido, te habría dicho. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que ya pasó. Es decir, que ya no puedo hacer nada, ¿ok? If I had the range, I would have bought a big house. Si yo hubiese sido rico, yo hubiese comprado una casa grande. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que no fui rico y que no compré una casa grande y que ya es el pasado, que ya, ya no puedo remediarlo. Ok. Entonces voy a hacer complaints about things in the past that can be changed. Uh -huh. Aquí mismo, my friend. Please copy. This mini grammar for conditional tree. Okay, my friends. So please continue, please, from number two, please, to number five, okay? Teacher? Yes? In number two, what's the meaning of comer? Corner. Corner. Uh, it is the, the, here is a corner, look here. Corner. Corner, okay. Esquina. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank he you. would have signed his name in the corner and hubiese firmado su nombre en la esquina. O hubiese escrito su nombre en la esquina. Mm -hmm. Very good, ok. Ok, let me, let me erase, ok. What about, ok, let's start with uh, Ana. What about Ana? Number two, Ana. Super easy. Yeah. Um, if he had painted the picture, he would have signed, signed, signed. Uh -huh. his name in the corner. Excellent. Perfect, good. What about him? Number to him. If you if you remember had asked uh, yes. him yesterday, he would have told you everything. Exactly. Perfect. Good. But uh, please um Chris. If you had to work more. If you had worked more, you would have been able to translate this article yesterday. Exactly. Perfect. Good. What about Adriana? If you. If you had come to me yesterday, we should have translator this article exactly remember here if they use should you can also you can also use should instead of would okay traditionally you will say if you had come to me yesterday we would have translated this article however you can also say should should it again deberíamos de haber traducido si tú hubiese venido conmigo ayer Nosotros deberíamos de haber traducido este artículo. Ok. But that is also possible. Ok. It's also correct to use should instead of would. Ok. Very good. Ok. So let's, let's move on. Ok. Very good. Here. Ok. Well, it's super easy for you. That's super easy for you. you. You don't have problem with that. Ok. Neither with this. Ok. So wait a minute. Ok. Let's move on lower. Okay, let's check out past, okay? On the business letter yesterday, they to the post office immediately. Very good. All the business letter, super easy, okay? Remember, here is the passive, okay? Maybe passive. Remember, passive voice can happen with all tenses, present, past, future, present perfect, past continuous, okay? Or present continuous with any tense. Here, all the business letter, good were answered yesterday and they were taken to the post office immediately. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's try from number 14, okay, to number 17, okay. Remember, here is passive voice. We are checking passive voice.
finish. Good, Jimé. Part of Jimé, number 40, Jimé. The special information. The special informa information will be brought in an, an hour or so. That's why it wasn't published in the newspaper yesterday. Exactly. It will be brought in an hour or so. That's why it wasn't published. Good, yes. Para please, Anna, houses. Houses are building very quickly now. Almost, 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 Anna, almost. Casi, Where casi. <laughs> look, it says, look, look at the tips, okay? All the sentences have, um, have tips or okay? have clues. It says, now, okay, look, look at here. Very quickly now. What do you think, Is Houses. Uh, are built. Houses are built. Exactly. Houses are built very much now. Las casas son construidas muy rápido ahora. Good. Okay. Adriana. In 1834. In 1824. 34. 34. 34. The houses of the parliament, with the ex exception of when Winston Mean, Westminster, Westminster Hall, uh, Hall, uh, was begging destroyer by by fear. They uh, revolt later. Okay, what do you think, Anna? What's your opinion? Um, letter C. Exactly. Then, uh -huh. In 1834, the Houses of Parliament, with the, the exception of Westminster <laughs> Hall, <laughs> were destroyed by okay. fire and they were revealed later. 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 <laughs> okay. Why? Look, the subject here it says. The Houses of Parliament. The Houses of Parliament is plural. That's why we need to use a plural verb. Were destroyed, okay? Good, what about him? You can use... What about him? Can you, can you hear us? I think he can hear us, okay? What about Greece? Number 70 Greece. You can use... Uh, you can use this textbook, textbook now. Good. It, it was taken. Almost, 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 Greece, almost. What about Adriana? You can use this textbook, this textbook now. Um... You can use this textbook now. It uh, has been taken by your friend. Exactly. Dice, no puedes usar este libro de texto ahora. Ha sido tomado, okay, por tu amigo. Very good, my friends. Very good, okay. Let's move on, okay. Good. Let's continue with a bit more grammar. With the last part of grammar for today, okay. Okay. Oh, this is the passive, okay. Okay, in direct speech, I think you don't have problem with that. Okay, that is super easy. Okay. Key cases. Let's practice when, while, where, as soon as. First of all, when the woman was out of was out a postman, a letter. Excuse me. Ah, yes. So when the woman was out. Was out a post month. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Here. A post month brought a letter. Okay. When the woman was out, a post month brought a letter. Cuando la mujer salió, un cartero trajo una carta. Okay. Thank you, my friends. Let's move on and let's continue with. Number 17, okay, to number 22, okay. 
from 17 to number 22. Here we're going to practice uh, connectors, okay? Oh, sorry. I'm moving the page, sorry. Good morning, when you are ready, you tell me, okay? Excellent. So I start with Anna. Please, Anna, could you please read number 17, please? Yeah. I hope it won't be raining when you get to London. Exactly. I hope it won't be raining when you get to London. Espero que no esté lloviendo cuando llegues a Londres. Good. What about Greece? When the lesson? Uh, when lesson is over, we shall go home. Very good. When the lesson is over, we shall go home. 
cuando la lección termine, nosotros deberíamos ir a casa. Very good. Uh, let's say, Adriana, what? I want, what are you doing when your father re returns? Good, Adriana. Perfect. What about him? When we... When we... When we... I don't know. <laughs> we, we were in Seville, we went sightseeing? No. Exactly. When we were in Seville, we were sightseeing. Super easy. Cuando, cuando estábamos en Sevilla, ok, nosotros este, fuimos a visitar los lugares turísticos. Recuerden, remember, my, my dear, this phrase, go sightseeing. Go sightseeing, ok. You hear, go sightseeing, ok. Tal vez visitar los lugares turísticos, visitar los lugares de interés de un lugar. Very good, ok. Bueno, please, Gris, he says, number 21, Gris, please. I don't know. <laughs> he said, when he was painting the ceiling, okay? When he was painting the ceiling. So, number one. Number one is past, okay? Here, the first section must be in past. Why? Because you say, when he was painting the ceiling, when he was painting the techo. Okay? What do you think, Ana? I think this leather dim. He read the leather when he... And the leather... A letter it means a carta. In Spanish, carta o yes. letra. No, okay. Here is carta. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, he burned his hand when he was painting the ceiling. Él se quemó la mano cuando le estaba pintando el techo. I don't know, maybe. But exactly, exactly. What do you think, Jimé? Dicen, when he was painting the ceiling. I don't know. I believe. I'm not sure. Uh -huh. That could be. Uh, he fell off the letter when he was beating the same. Exactly. Because I, I, well, I thought he found his his passport don't have any sense. The same with burn his hand or brought the letter or bought the new car. So exactly. The unique uh, that it's. The most logical, ¿no? Logical is fell off, ¿no? Cae, se Exacto. cayó, ¿no? Eh, ven, chicas, ladder. Ladder, ok. Escalera, ok. Ladder, escalera. Ah. Ok, look, remember here. Let me write that for you, ok. We have uh, several options, ok. We have ladder, look. Ladder, escalera. We also have a... You also have a... Look, this one, escalator. Escalator, okay. Or, okay, there is a difference, okay. Both in Spanish are escalera, okay. Por ladder, es esa escalera que, se, que, que, que ponen, una escalera eh, movible, okay. Una escalera que la pones y la quitas, okay. Escalator es la escalera eléctrica, okay. Very good. Okay, what about the last one? The one is for, let's say, please, um, Ana, eat. It had been uh, it had been raining since morning when we went out. Exactly. It had been raining since morning when we went out. Why, my friends? Since morning. Since morning is a time of period marker. It says that since morning, desde la mañana. So you need you need a, a tense that expresses time. Pa time um, going by, time passing, okay? Then here, it had been raining since morning when we went out. Very good, okay, excellent, excellent. Very good, my girls, okay? So let's continue with a bit more, okay, from number 24 to number 29. For example, when I, younger, I, an idea of a wife who with me in my thoughts as well as aims. When I, of a wife who uh, 
super easy. En el B, ok. When I was younger, I had an idea of a wife who would, would be with me in my thoughts as well as aims, ok. So this one is a uh, del B, ok. Remember, cuando yo era joven, yo tenía una idea de una esposa que estuviese conmigo, que estaría conmigo en mis pensamientos, al igual que en mis objetivos. Ok. Please so continue from number 25 to number 29. Very romantic teacher. Exactly, ¿no? <laughs> that, that is um, an ideal, ¿no? That's an ideal. <laughs> Pégame, es bueno. Yo le di, yo también me Great, Anna. Where is Anna number 25, Anna? When I... When I finish school, I enter the university. When I finish school, I enter... Cuando termine la escuela... Cuando termine la escuela, enter la universidad. Almost, Anna. Almost. I will say Anna much better than this one. Look. When I finish school, I shall enter the university. Para que diga. Cuando termine la escuela, yo debería entrar, ¿ok? A la universidad. Remember, remember, shall, ¿ok? Shall is similar, ¿ok? Similar to should, ¿ok? Similar to should. However, shall is more formal. Number one is formal, ¿ok? Number two, shall is only used with I and we. Only. 
Okay, I shall, we shall. And should is less formal. And should is used with all the people, with all the personal pronouns, okay? That's why here, when I, uh, when I finish school, I shall enter the university, okay? It expresses a uh, shall is used to express a desire, okay? For the future, okay? Chris, number 26, Chris. I visited. I visited my sister when she lived in Moscow. Exactly, when she lived in Moscow. Very good. And uh, let's say, um, Jime, we... We we have our super when our mother comes from the market. We have our supers or super when our mother comes from the market. Almost Jime, almost. I will say most better this one, Jime. We shall our super when our mother comes. Deberíamos, um, deberíamos uh, tener nuestras cenas cuando nuestra madre regrese del mercado. Okay, that is also a desire, okay? Adriana, the passengers. Uh, passengers. Uh, for the train for 10 minutes. Been, have been waiting. Good. Uh, for the train for 20 minutes when I when, pull when it, it, when it, when mm -hmm. it pull it into the station. Exactly, the passengers have been waiting for the train for 20 minutes when it pull into the station. He said, los pasajeros habían estado esperando al train por 20 minutos cuando entró a la estación. Bien, pull into, pull into, that is also similar to pull into. Similar to go into, similar to enter, okay? Pull into, similar to go into, similar to enter. Pretty good. Anna, yesterday when I... Uh, yesterday when I met her, she had told me about you. Exactly. Yesterday when I met her, she had told me about you. Very good. It means that um, this woman had those, had those information about you and then you started to meet her. Yes. Good, my friends. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. What about you? I have a question for Greece. Greece, what, Greece? Look at the question, Anna. Look at the question, Greece. What shall you do, Greece? What shall you do for your future? Similar, this similar is um, similar to what would you like to, to do for your future? Look at the question first. What shall you do for your future? It's super formal. Standard English, what would you like to do for your future? Okay. So it is, tell me this, what shall you do for your future, Chris? What do you want to happen in your future, Chris? Uh, <laughs> it's a difficult question, teacher. <laughs> Chris, but you are, uh, I mean, you are young. You almost finished your degree. So um, the future for you is wide, very wide. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, what shall you do okay, for your future? Like, what do you want? What do you expect from the future? What do you want for the future for you? Well, first, uh, finish my career. My major, finish my major. My major, my major. Okay. Uh, look for a job. Very good. Uh, I don't know, probably to have a, a own house. Okay. And um, continue working. <laughs> okay. Please, um, would you like to get married in the future? Sorry? Would you like to get married in the future? Uh, no, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, Grace, uh, leave as a couple? Mm, no. <laughs> Look, leave as a couple. Okay. Union Libre. Union Libre. No, Grace? 
No, teacher. Oh, come on, Gris. You don't believe in marriage, Gris? Uh, no, teacher. No? No. <laughs> or, or just li living with a person? No, teacher. I prefer uh, be, be alone. And, and I don't know, doing uh, things like like I don't know uh, doing things that uh, I like it. Okay, 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 okay. For what example, about... yes. I I have uh, a uncle. Yes. And she she doesn't live has a couple. Well, it's difficult. <laughs> okay. It's difficult. He she she have a. Uh, Boyfriend, but okay. it, boyfriend it's about uh, more or less 30, 30 years. Okay. 30 years um, old? No, uh, ellos tienen 30 años de relación. Ah, they, <laughs> they have been together. They have been together. Okay. For, for 30 years. For, for 30 years. Okay. And I, I can see uh, problems because uh, she had um, uh, social security. Okay. Uh, has a couple, but uh, my uncle don't have children. Uh, my uncle doesn't have. My uncle doesn't have children. Good. Uh, but she had a big house, uh, money, and he tell tell his uh -huh. that if she die, yes. he could he could I how do you say puede reclamar sus pertenencias. He could claim. He could claim. He could claim his properties. His properties. Okay. I imagine is it doesn't. Ay, how do you say justo? <laughs> no es justo. Uh, it, it isn't fair. It it, it isn't, isn't fair, fair because she wanted uh, get married, but he never wants. Okay, I and see. She, and she wants to to take things. Oh, well, the idea is that he did the testament. Uh -huh. And I don't know. Probably all all is for for the. Okay. Ay, how do you say sobrinos? <laughs> ah, for the nephews. For the nephews. I don't know, probably I can get a house. <laughs> <laughs> Greece, and would you accept that house? Sorry? Would you accept that house? Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're you saying that you have um, your aunt and your uncle, okay? And you're saying that they are not married, they are just living together. Yes. And you're saying that they don't have children? No. Okay. And you're saying that he, well, he's, um, look, look at this word. He's wealthy. Wealthy, wealthy. Wealthy is a person who has money, who has properties. He's a person who doesn't have problems with money. Is, is that the case? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I understand. Okay. Yes, uh, sir. and imagine if if my uncle wants to irradiate the, the things for all the for all of us, we are more or less eleven cousins. Eleven cousins? Yes. So, so he has eleven nephews and nieces? Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> well you, uh, it's oh. better. It's better. It that a person who never 
had um, more with with she um, probably imagine we don't we don't know nothing about the the life who the 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 life of the partner of my cousin yes and um, probably he had uh own children because well he he lived with her mother but she 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 died uh i don't remember when but uh he i hope you say él es cuando una persona es coda que no le gusta ah, gastar su dinero así. he is scrooging he's scrooging he is short-handed los dos son coda scrooging you can say he is scrooge or he is short-handed él él es coda yes teacher he is scrooge oh. and imagine mm. if he never doing nothing for my uncle Okay. Uh, he he is it doesn't fair that he had uh, something, nothing. <laughs> okay. Pero... And when my uncle was sick, uh, he don't care care his. He did. He didn't care her. He didn't care her. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> When you study is difficult, Chris, no? Yes. You know, Chris, I, I will share my experience with you and with, with the class, okay? As you know, I, I got married, okay, four years ago, almost five years ago. So I was, uh, right now I am 46 years old. So it means that I was 41 years old when I got married. My wife was 43 years old. So we got married, as we say, we got married old. Okay, we didn't get married young. That's number one. Number two, we haven't had children. Okay, why? Because um, I don't know why, but she has been uh, pregnant. And um, maybe it's too, too late for us to have children, okay? Especially for her, because uh, I don't know, I don't want to risk her for the, for the pregnancy and for the process and for the, I don't know or what it implies, okay? But I am in the same case as, as your uncle and as your aunt, Chris. We have properties, but that is something that I, that I think in the future. We have properties in Mexico City, in Yucca, in Puebla, and in Veracruz. And sometimes I think about that, Chris, and my students, okay? What? What will it happen, okay, with all those properties when we die? I mean, we don't have a, um, we don't have a, <laughs> well, we don't have a um, inherit, look, herederos, okay? We don't have inherits. So I don't know, it's, that's something that I, that I think in the future, okay? I don't know what, what to do with all those properties. What I told her, what I told her is that if I die first, obviously she she will have all the properties. And I told her, if if I die first, you you own all the properties and you you can sell all of them, okay? And travel, okay. I told her, travel, okay, with that money. If you die first, I will inherit, okay, all the properties, and for sure I will sell them, okay. I will sell them and travel. There's one option. Second option, she has told me, Miguel, and why don't you inherit part of the properties to, to your nephews? And yes, I have nephews, but um, I don't have a good relationship with my brothers. I have two others, okay? But we, we, we hate each other. <laughs> so I don't know, that's a good question, okay? You made me think this. Yes, teacher, but it is different because you are married. Yes. yes, yes you yes. live together all the time. Yes. And if you don't have children, uh, you can doing um, you, you can doing uh, that you want with the properties. It's true. And if, but 
my uncle is different because uh, she, uh, we can say she visits him and she uh, cook, cooking, drying, and uh, cake him. Okay. But it, it isn't the same with him. He don't, he don't nothing for my uncle. Ah, exactly. See, I see. And exactly. this, and it is the, um, the problem. Exactly, exactly. It's true. It's different. Yes, exactly. Wow, it's a, it's a hard situation. Okay, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. Okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. What are you, Anna? Anna, what shall shall you do, Anna, for the future? What do you expect for the future to happen, Anna? For you. I I want to to improve it. It's okay to say, yes. yeah. Improve, I yes. I want to improve in my profession. Okay. Um, I want to to get my own properties. Very good. Uh, properties. Yeah, so, so Anna, no one property. Properties. Yeah. yeah. Properties. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> oh, Anna. Okay. Um, okay. I want to to study a um, master. Okay. And I want to to I do I want to have another dog. <laughs> another dog. Okay. <laughs> okay, but that, that is easy, I don't know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes you can have your dog now, today, if you want to. I have a dog, but it's okay for now, just one dog. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. okay. Anna, um, would you like to continue working for the company that you're working now, or would you like to change? The company uh, or to have your own company i i want to to continue working uh, where i working okay. um, i think it's an excellent opportunity to to improve um but if i uh, found another opportunity a uh, better opportunity i how do you say no to that i wouldn't doubt here let me say what well, on chat, okay. I wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't, wouldn't doubt. I wouldn't doubt to take it. I wouldn't doubt to take it. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt to take it. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Anna, and where would you like to have your properties, Anna? Sorry. Where would you like to have your properties? Um, um I don't know the uh, <laughs> here in Zumpango. Um, yes. I when I go no, no when I went gone <laughs> when I gone to to Veracruz, I ah, I ah, when I have gone. When I have gone to Veracruz. Uh, when I have gone. Yeah. When I have gone. Uh, to Veracruz, yes. I have a uh, seen very good very cheaper properties. I don't know why, but it's very cheaper to to uh, properties there in Veracruz, teacher. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, Anna. But I mean, maybe Anna cheaper properties um, in 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 places, for example, like in towns. Okay. But um, what about Anna having a house in front of the sea? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, Anna. So, Anna, you're saying but that you will... Maybe... Yes. The, how, how do you say inundaciones? <laughs> the floodings, the floodings. Yeah, maybe the floodings are the reason that the, uh, these kind of places are cheaper. <laughs> Very good to say. So you would like to have your properties in Veracruz? Yeah, yeah, Very because good. I like to to go there. Ah, okay, Anna. So would, would, would you like to move to Veracruz one day? Uh, no move, but because all my life is here, 
Okay. But uh, for having a um, um, resting house. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, that is, I know, let me tell you that it is, it's, it's a good option. Okay. But, and yes, it's something good that you, that you have a place to go to rest. Okay. And all that. But it's a problem, Anna. Why? <laughs> because uh, my wife and I, we, we also have a house in Veracruz. The house is just across from the sea. But, but the problem, Anna, is that we haven't gone to the house in a year. So the house now is uh, alone. Obviously, obviously my, my family lives there. I mean, my brothers live there. But as I said, I, I don't get along with them, okay? We, we hate each other. So I cannot ask them to go to the house and visit and clean and all that. What we do sometimes, and I, like we pay a person, um, this girl or this lady goes to the house and she cleans the house. But it's, it's also maintenance. And the number one is cleaning the house. Number two, you have to pay for the property, the rights for having the property in Mexico. And, uh, and all, uh, water service, electricity service. So what I want to say is that yes, it's good to have um, properties, but they also imply expenses. Yes, teacher, I know, but <laughs> I want to improve. Uh, my profession, my laboral life <laughs> first, <laughs> and then I could uh, um, I could pay Bye. everything uh, my resting house need. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Anna. Very good. Now okay. it is impossible for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna, maybe not impossible. Maybe you can start saving some money. Okay, some uh, rich people say that, uh, American rich people say that uh, from all your incomes, from all your salary, you should be saving 10% every fortnight. Yes, teacher, I, I agree, but <laughs> it's... Uh, it's I'm a person who likes to to, to, to spend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you, <laughs> Anna, uh, Anna, are, are you a buyer? Yes, teacher. <laughs> it, uh, no, no, not only for me, uh, but also for my family to buy okay. something for my mom, for my dad. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Anna. That that I, I I used to be like that, Anna, until I realized that um, my God, time goes by very fast, Anna. Okay. So when you realize, Anna, maybe, well, right now you're very young, okay. But when you realize, Anna, wow, twenty years have passed, okay, or thirty years have passed, okay. And mm -hmm. what have I done with all the money? <laughs> so, yes, Anna. I used to be like you. I understand you. But yes, and at some point, at some point, you, you you will wake up and you will start to to say at least ten percent of your salary. I will try to do it, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> at the beginning, it's hard. I do hard. my best for for save. <laughs> yes, at the beginning is difficult, but I'm sure I'm sure you can do it. Okay. What are you, Adriana? Adriana, what should you what shall you do for your future, Anna? I'm sorry, Adriana. What do you expect, Adriana, for the future? I don't have heavy. Okay. <laughs> but <laughs> but maybe um, I don't know. Everybody, every human being has uh, dreams. Every person has desires for for themselves. Okay. What are your desires, Adriana, for your life? What do you want for your life, Adriana? What are your dreams in your life? I only have a, a one dream, but is uh other um uh these uh, don't have um uh any any relation okay. with my with my my present is i i want to have um a how do you say vivero ah i want to have um 
Greenhouse. Vivero. A uh, greenhouse. Okay. Yes, teacher. Is the only only step paso? How do you say? Step. Uh -huh. step. Yeah. Ah, I, step. step is the only step uh, that I I have only nothing, teacher. <laughs> okay. So you you dream is to have a greenhouse. Yes, teacher. In the future, in maybe in two years, three years, five years, ten years, I don't know. <laughs> well, that, that's that's a good idea. And let me tell you that uh, for the company, remember, I work for a company. This company is called USA. The owner, the CEO of the, of the company, is called um, Mr. Carlos Peralta. He he is the owner of the company, and and he also has uh, cleaning houses in a place near Toluca. The place is called, is called Jocotitlan. It's, it's a very small town before Toluca. And it's a good business, Adriana. He, in, the, in these houses, he grows to tomatoes. But um, very beautiful tomatoes, again, okay, very big tomatoes. And he sells them to, to the United States of America, and he sells them to Europe, and also for the Mexican market. Let me tell you, Adriana, that he began with uh, two greenhouses. And now, now I have heard that he has like uh, 20 greenhouses. Oh. Exactly. Yes, so maybe, yes, maybe, I. Yes. Maybe, teacher. Yes, maybe, Adriana, you're, you, you can start a production like he. Okay, he, he produces tomatoes. Maybe you can produce, I don't know, vegetables or chilies or onions. I don't know, Adriana. Okay. Of flowers. This teacher is, um, I, feel, I, I like more uh, flowers, but I see in in my town uh, when when a person um, start to to sell uh, a flowers, uh, he uh, increment um, uh, her her price. Okay. So I I want I want to to to. To, how do you sell offer? I want to offer. To offer um uh, plants and flowers and and any plants, many. <laughs> yes. Uh, to to price uh accessible, how would you say? Ah, to cheap prices. To cheap prices. Ah okay. this is my 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 idea. So my I idea. don't know this idea. Yes. <laughs> Mm. I don't know, but I think in in this because it's a it's a a, a business. But I oh. angry when he uh, when they how do you say se aprovechan? When they take advantage. Take advantage. So I think in in this this point uh, that I can to offer. Plants, uh, cheap plants. I can offer, remember, I can offer cheap plants. Okay. Well, uh, that's a good idea. Okay? For example, um, in Mexico City, there is a, a market, a very famous market. It's called Jamaica Market. There, Adriana, it's a market obviously for food, for vegetables, okay? But also, it has a very huge section for flowers. That's why the market is famous for the flowers. Maybe you can buy, you can get um, some clients from there. Yes, teacher. Bueno, I, I think. <laughs> Very good. But, I... but it's good that you have a, a dream, no? a, a, a goal in your life. That's good. Okay. Yes, good. teacher. Very good. What about Jime? Jime, what, what should you do for the future, Jime? What do you expect? For your future, Jime. <laughs> I have the same problem that Adriana. I mean, I remember that when I was child, I want to get married and have a family and something like that. But now, when I start growing, I don't think it's the same. I know. Yeah. I like to have a, a well, I like to live uh, from the signs, you know? And I like to have my own place, you know, to live. Um, something like that. No, I I like to do 
um, all old sisters by myself. I don't uh, have someone to depend of me, no, or I depend of other people, no. Okay. Uh, well, well, I don't know. I don't know uh, what I want to uh, study or something like that in this uh, stuff of my life. I, I'm thinking what I want to do in the future, no. But probably I like to have my my own house, no, and I have probably my own uh, ground, no, my own ground. Um, cultivate something to, um, uh, to have my like a greenhouse, no, or hey. uh, something like that sounds nice, or um, I don't know, um. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Basically, you want to to have a, like um like a like this little name, let me wait for you. Okay. You want to have your own orchard. Look, orchard. Uh, huertos. Orchard. Huerto. Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay. Uh, but I don't know uh, what kind of. Uh, plants I do. Uh, well, I like to cultivate or something Very like good. that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I want to uh, work or when I want to live uh, of a, from a science, no? I okay. want to be a teacher. So probably I'm going, I like to travel in, um, in different places working. Okay. You know? um, probably I like to work. <laughs> um, in the earth, I mean, how to say that? Um, yes. Collecting plants or animals, something, samples of plants or animals, something like that, and back at the laboratory and do all of this stuff. That's not really nice. Uh, so probably all time, uh, could be I going to be busy. <laughs> and, Obviously. <laughs> and once a night, uh, and once, time in my life I like to be a, a teacher in a, in a in a school um, something like that but me is really nice <laughs> I mean I want to do a lot of stuff but I don't know what a kind of stuff I want to do I mean I have a lot of plants but I don't know um Sería más bien, no sé cómo empezar. <laughs> I, I don't know how to start. It's like, I, I, don't I don't know, know how, how to start. Or you can say, I don't know where to start. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know where to start. <laughs> very good, Jimé. Very good, okay. Okay, my friends, very good, okay. So let's, let's begin with the words, okay, with the vocabulary, okay. Let me share my screen for you. And here we have the, the words for promotions, pensions, and awards, okay. But uh, please, um, please, read, please read number one, please read achievement, noun. Um, noun, achievement. His achieve, uh, <laughs> achievements were not noticed by the vice president. Vice president. Vice president. Okay. And he won. And he was sent to London office. Very good. What about verb achieve? Achieve. Making a list, a list of your objectives will help you achieve them. Very good. What about now achiever? Achiever. Mr. Badgie mm -hmm. always considered him, himself a high achiever. Achiever, okay. Achieve. Okay, ladies, please copy achievement noun. Please copy verb achieve. Please copy noun achiever. Okay.
Ok, primer truco. Achievement. Ok. Achievement. Logro. Ok. Logro. Okay. Logro. Achieve. Lograr. Ok. Lograr. Achiever. Achiever. Triunfador. Triunfadora. Okay. Achiever. Triunfador, triunfadora. Good. Ana, please, what will Ana bear? Contribute. Contribute. Yeah. Contribute. All employees were urged to contribute something useful at the staff meetings. Okay, noun, contribution. Noun, contribution. Each of you has made a significant contribution to our Team. Success. Success. Good. Success. Noun. Noun contributor. Contributor, yes. As contributors to the company's outstanding year, all employees will re receive an additional holiday bonus. Very good. Okay. Please copy. Bear contribute. Noun contribution. Noun contributor. Ok, lo que dice, contribute. Okay, contribute, that's the verb, okay? Contribuir. Noun contribution. Contribución. También puede ser aporte. Aporte, ok. And contributor. Contribuyente. Very good. Well, please, Adriana. Please, what about Adriana Bear? Dedicate. Uh, dedicate. The manager dedicates too much time to repose. Uh, not enough, enough time to the customer. Customer, good. Dedication. Dedication. My dedication to the company uh, was uh, rewarded mm -hmm. with a uh, two weeks trip to Hawaii. Very good. Dedicated. Dedicated. Before the change in the Mana, management, 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 management. Good. Uh, he he used it to be a more dedicated uh, worker. Very good. Okay, please copy very dedicated, non dedication, and please copy adjective dedicated. Remember, my friends, dedicate, okay? dedicar, okay? Dedicate, dedicar. Dedication, super easy. Dedica, dedicación. Dedicate, dedicado, okay? Es, eh, esmerado, okay? Dedicate, dedicado, esmerado, esforzado. Good. What about him? Loyal, him. Adjective, loyal. Loyal. Uh, he has been both a loyal co working and a loyal friend. Very good. Noun, uh, loyal. Loyalty. 
her loyalty to the company increased even the owners. Very good. Adverb. Loyally. The security officer loyally worded uh, the company's vault. Vault, okay. Please copy adjective loyal, noun loyalty, adverb loyally. Remember, loyal, okay? He has been both a loyal worker okay, and a loyal friend, okay? Leal. Loyal, leal, fiel. Okay. Loyalty, lealtad. Okay, lealtad. Loyally, okay, loyally. Eh, Fielmente. Okay. Security officer loyally guarded the company's fault. El oficial de seguridad guardó um, fielmente el baúl okay, de la compañía. Okay, o la caja de seguridad de la compañía. What about this, please? Adjective, productive. Adjective. Uh, product. Productive. Uh, the most productive team in the department will on we win uh, to the vacation in the Bahamas. Product. Non product. The new product will be real released. Release. Good. Release. Good. Uh, in the early spring. Very good. Produce. Bird produced. The film was produced by produced in Manila. Manila. Very good. Please copy, please. Adjective productive. Noun product. Verb produce. Yeah, my friends, productive, productivo, productiva, okay. Product, producto, okay. Produce, okay. Producido, okay. O hecho también, okay. Well, please, Anna, please, ver, promote. Promote, in order to move ahead in the company, you must promote yourself. Good. Noun. Noun promotion. Good. Promotion are, are given to those who prove their worth. <laughs> Good. Okay. Noun promoter. Promoter as the main promoter of the product. Mrs. Ross. Mrs. Rose. Mrs. Ross was responsible for the marketing company. Campaign. Camp campaign. Okay, please copy. Bear promote, noun promotion, and noun promoter. Okay. Again, please look promote promover. Okay. It's also ascender. Okay. Promotion, okay. Promotion. 
también puede ser en promoción, puede ser ascenso. Ok. Mucho en promoción, ascenso. Ok. As the main promoter of the product. Ok. In promoter, ok. Um, la persona que, que se encarga de, de hacer una, una campaña, ok. Promotor también puede ser. Promotor. Ok. Pero okay, so so let's continue, okay? Let's continue with the listening section, okay? Let, let me let me change the view, okay? Okay, and once again, okay, remember this section is here, okay? Is on the wallet, okay? It's here, okay? Let's go. Let me with the listening activities, okay? Very super, so you just click on on them, okay? And uh, and it's there, okay. So let me let me move that, okay. Wait a minute, okay. Very good. Let me share it for you, okay. Very good, okay. So let's, okay. Let's listen, okay. Ah, uh, pero I made a mistake, okay. Wait a minute, okay. So it's there for you. There, okay. Okay, so let's listen twice, okay. Number 15, listening comprehension. Part one, photo. Number one, look at the picture marked number one. A. The librarian is dedicating her novel to her boss. B. The promoter is putting away a book. C. The employee is receiving a book as an award. D. The manager is recognizing his old workers. Okay, I repeat again, okay? Lesson number 15, Listening Comprehension. Part 1, Photo. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number one. A. The librarian is dedicating her novel to her boss. B. The promoter is putting away a book. C. The employee is receiving a book as an award. D. The manager is recognizing his old workers. What about Anna? What do you think, Anna? A, B, C, or D, Anna? Maybe letter C. Exactly. Do, do you remember yeah. what, what they said? Exactly. That is correct. Letter C is good. Okay. Do, 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 yeah. do you remember what they mentioned? Uh, the menu. Uh, yeah, I don't remember it. You were employee, but the man is uh, receiving a book as as record work. Recognition, as a recognition. Yeah, recognition, yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's the idea. Letter C is correct. Very good, okay. Okay, now let's move on to number two is a part to question response. It says, listen to the question and the three responses. Choose the response that best answer the question. Again, don't worry, let's listen twice. Part two, question response. Number two. Has she proven her loyalty? A. She's been with us for 47 years. B. Loyalty deserves praise. C. No, she hasn't completed it. Number three. Where is the dedication ceremony going to be held? A. The ceremony was full of fanfare. B. Nobody questions her dedication. C. At the flagpole in the parking lot. Okay, I repeat. Old workers. Part 2. Question response. Number 2. Has she proven her loyalty? A. 
She's been with us for 47 years. B. Loyalty deserves praise. C. No, she hasn't completed it. Number 3. Where's the dedication ceremony going to be held? A. The ceremony was full of fanfare. B. Nobody questions her dedication. C. At the flagpole in the parking lot. Very good. What about Hime? Number two, Hime. A, B, or C, Hime? Probably letter A. Letter A. Letter A is correct, Hime. Why? Do you remember what they mentioned? Well, the question is, has she proved her loyalty? And they say that she is working for us a home in time in the company. 47 years, she said. Ah, okay, 47 years. Very good, okay. What about uh, Adriana? Adriana? Number three, Adriana. A, B, or C, Adriana? I don't know, maybe a letter C. Letter C is correct. Good, Adriana. Why, Adriana? Do you remember why? What they mentioned? I don't remember, teacher. Okay. Yes, the, the, the question was, um, where, um, where, where, where is, is the, the, the ceremony? Of ceremony no? Exactly, the ceremony going to be held, okay? And they say, and she said, at the flagpole in the parking lot. At the, let me write that, okay. At the flagpole, look. She said, at the flagpole in the parking lot. Eso es flagpole, punto de reunión, ¿ok? Quiere decir que en el razonamiento tienen un punto de, de reunión de emergencia. Eso es flagpole, punto de reunión de emergencia. Póngale por aquí, flagpole. All companies, all companies have flagpoles, ¿ok? Puntos de reuniones para emergencias. Uh -huh. And the flagpole in the parking lot. Very good, Adriana. Good, ¿ok? Ok, let's continue with number three. It says... Um, he says, conversation says, listen to the dialogue, then read the question and choose the best response. I will read the first one, okay? Number four, why, why will the ceremony be held? To honor Daryl, to boast about um, production figures, to celebrate the opening of a new office, to present awards. Anna, please, number five, when? When will the ceremony be held? Mm -hmm. Today, yesterday, tonight, tomorrow. Tuesday, no? Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, Tuesday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gris, what is the speaker's? Um, what is the speaker's opinion of? Darren. Uh, Darren. Good. A. He is loyal. B. He is not productive. Okay. C. He is unimpressive. Very good. Letter D. He is not a hard worker. Okay, maybe new words, maybe new words. Look, for example, um, to boast about production figures, to boast. Okay, quejarse, Bien, to boast, quejarse de las cifras de producción. Okay, to boast, quejarse. Um, to present awards is para dar este, premios o presentar premios. Uh, here, no problem. Okay, what about here? Why is the speaker's opinion of Darrell? Uh, look, he's, he's unimpressive. Es decir, él no genera ninguna impresión, ¿ok? O sea, como dicen por ahí, es X, ¿ok? Um, his lawyer es leal, es fiel. He's not productive, no es productivo. He's not a hard worker, no es un trabajador. No es un buen trabajador, ¿ok? Ok, let's listen, ¿ok? Part 3 Short conversation. Numbers four through six relate to the following conversation. I'm looking forward to the award ceremony tonight. So am I. I hope Darrell finally gets some recognition for all the work that he has done. He certainly has been very productive in the last few months. He has always been a hard worker. His dedication to his job is impressive, and he is certainly one of the company's most loyal employees. Okay, I will play that again. 
Chapters 4 through 6 relate to the following conversation. I'm looking forward to the award ceremony tonight. So am I. I hope Daryl finally gets some recognition for all the work that he has done. He certainly has been very productive in the last few months. He has always been a hard worker. His dedication to his job is impressive, and he is certainly one of the company's most loyal employees. Okay, I start with um, Gris. Why will the ceremony be held? Uh, Let to honor Darren. Excellent to honor. Excellent to honor Darren. Very good. Anna, when will the ceremony be held? Uh, tonight. Excellent. Tonight. Good. What about, let's say, Adriana? Why is the speaker's opinion? What is the speaker's opinion of Darrell? I mean, is uh, letter A is a uh, loyal? Exactly. He's loyal. Excellent, my ladies. Very good. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Let's continue with part four. Talk. It says, Listen to the talk, then read this question and choose the best answer. I will read number seven. Who is talking? To employees and our presenter, community volunteers, a professor. Jime, number eight, who is? Who is the audience? Layer A, students. Layer B, customers. Layer C, employees. Layer D, citizens. Citizens, okay. Citizens. What a place, um, Greece. When did the company? When did the company open? Ledre? Uh, 19? 1965. Letter B, 1975. Good. Letter C, 1985. Good. Letter D, 1995. Very good. Okay. New words. Okay. New words. Maybe I'm a presenter, a presenter of the premio. Sí. Uh, community volunteers, voluntarios de la comunidad. Uh, who is the audience? Um, customer, customer, clientes, employees, empleados, citizens, ciudadanos. Okay. Very good. Okay. So let's listen. Okay. I will play twice. Part four talk. Questions seven through nine relate to the following recording. Everyone enjoys receiving recognition for the work that they do. Today, we will honor two employees who have been working for the company ever since we opened our doors in 1985. Their loyalty to the company is an honor for us. No value can be placed on these employees. They are priceless to us. Since they began working with us, they have been promoted to ever higher positions, not because of their connections or degrees, but because of the contributions they have made to the company. In other words, they have been promoted for their merit. These high achievers are a credit to our company, and I am very pleased to be able to honor them here tonight. Mr. Louis Boitano and Ms. Gina Minot, please come up to the front to receive your awards. Yeah, I play one more time. 85. Their loyalty to the company is in part four. Talk. Questions seven through nine relate to the following recording. Everyone enjoys receiving recognition for the work that they do. Today, we will honor two employees who have been working for the company ever since we opened our doors in 1985. Their loyalty to the company is an honor for us. No value can be placed on these employees. They are priceless to us. Since they began working with us, they have been promoted to ever higher positions, not because of their connections or degrees, but because of the contributions they have made to the company. In other words, they have been promoted for their merit. These high achievers are a credit to our company, and I am very pleased to be able to honor them here tonight. Mr. Louis Boitano and Ms. Gina Minot, please come up to the front to receive your awards. Very good. Okay, what about please? Um, let's say Anna. Anna, who is talking, Anna? 
an award presenter. Excellent. An award presenter. Good. Let's say Greece. Lesson who, number 16. Oh, sorry. Listening comprehension. Greece. Who is part one? Who is the audience, Greece? <laughs> Let us see employees. Exactly. Obviously. Okay. Employees. Okay. What about please, um, Adriana? When did the company open? Uh, level D in 1995. 95, okay. What do you think, Jime? Uh, when did the company open, Jime? What do you think, 1995? Yeah, 1985. Okay. What about Anna? Oh. 1985. 1985, okay. Let us see, no? Yeah. Exactly, 1985, okay. Very good. Okay, my girls, perfect, good, okay. So I think listening, not too much trouble for you, okay. Okay, let's move on with the reading, okay. It says, and let me change the, the presentation, okay, so that you can, let me change, okay. So it says here, look. It says, choose a word that will complete the sentence, for example. When he talked about his long career, he realized that his biggest, I don't know, was in developing, developing the new leaders of the company. His biggest, okay. Okay. His biggest achievement. Okay. I don't know, his biggest, wait a minute. His biggest achievement, okay. Su mayor logro. Okay, was in developing the new leaders of the company. Okay, fue en desarrollar, okay, los nuevos líderes de la compañía. Okay, but you continue please from number 11 to number 15, okay. Excellent, Anna. Very good. Okay, I start with, with Anna. What about Anna? Let's say um, number as uh, Anna, number 11, Anna. She has. Okay. She has contributed to the, so much time and energy to the project that her name should appear on the award. Exactly. She has contributed. Very good. Okay. Perfect. Chris, hard work. Hard work and dedication will help you uh, move up the corporate ladder. Ladder, corporate ladder, la escalera corporativa. Very good. But uh, please, Jime, there is no reason. There is no reason to question her loyalty to our company. Very good, okay. Adriana, these microchips are? These mic microchips are uh, are production faster and more and cheaply in Asia? In Asia, almost, almost, look here. Look at that, here. That we have, you, you have a ver, a ver here. Are, mira, estos microchips son, here you need to say, producidos. Okay, are, look at this one. Produced. Very good. Are produced, okay, faster and more cheaply in Asia. Why? Because you have where to be, okay. Okay. What about Greece? Because you are. Because you are a value and dedicated employee, we are promoting you to director of the department. Very good. We are promoting you. Also, here you have where to be. Okay. So maybe it's um, present continuous or maybe it's the passive, like here, are produced. It is the passive. But here you don't have passive, you have ING. Excellent, Greece. Very good, my ladies. Excellent. Very good. Okay. 
Very good. Okay, so look at this one, okay? Okay, I will read them the first lines, okay? It says, text completion, dear Harry, we are pleased to inform you of your promotion within our company. Starting the first of next month, you will begin in your new position as manager of the fulfillment department. Anna, during Let's say, please, Anna, during your years. Yeah, during your years as a member of the fulfillment fulfillment uh, department staff, you have made many okay. to the productivity and smooth, smooth operation of the department. Okay. We have. Continue? Yes. We have always valued your dedication to your job, and now we are placed to be able your hard work and find skills with this promotion. Very good. Uh, Jime, we know you will do. We know you will do a wonderful job. The personal department will contact you soon regarding the change in your salary and benefits. We Welcoming you to your new position next month. Next month, very good. Okay, so look at the options. Okay, here it says, for example, for number sixteen, it says, during your years as a member of the fulfillment department staff, you have made many contributions. Okay. Exactly, many contributions. Okay, let me let me put it here. <laughs> Wait a minute here. Okay, many contributions. Okay. Okay, what about please, uh, um, Adriana? We have always value. Gotta please, Adriana. We have always valued. Yes. Where, teacher? Uh, we have always valued your dedication to your job. Uh, and now uh, we are present uh, to be able. Uh -huh. Continue. <laughs> to be able, and um, uh, here you have the options recognize, recognize, recognizing, okay. we recognize. What do you think? We are pleased to be able. To a letter B, maybe? Letter B is correct, okay. <laughs> Very good, okay, could you, could you be read? And now we are pleased. Could be you read? able. Be able to re, re organize, recognize, recognize, recognize your, uh, your hand, your hand work, and find skills with this promotion. Very good. Okay. What about please, uh, Anna? We know. Yeah. Uh, we know. Yes. Ah, yeah. will. We know you will, we know you will do a wonderful job. The personal department will contact you soon regarding the change in your salary and benefits. We look forward to welcoming you to your new position next month. Exactly. Remember, we look forward to. Esperamos con ansia. Okay. Remember, that phrase is very typical in, in, in business. Okay. Look forward to, okay? Look forward to, tener altas expectativas de hacer algo. Por ejemplo, I look forward, okay? I look forward to going on vacation, okay? Es espero con ansias y de vacaciones. Or she, or she looks forward, okay? She looks forward to, uh, to visiting 
Japan. Ok, ella, ella espera con ansia visitar Japón. Look after the verb, look forward to, the verb, the main verb has to be in ing. Going, visiting, eating, traveling, whatever you want. Ok. Very good, my guess. Ok. Very good. Ok, so let me, let me stop sharing. Ok, here I have a question for... For Greece, Greece, do you, do you have any plans, Greece, for today and tomorrow? Are you going to, obviously, homework, number one, homework, that's good. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, I need two. to finish to edit my radio guion. Ah, okay. To record in the uh, record next Wednesday. Next Wednesday, okay. And then yes. later? <laughs> finish a project and... My sister uh, will come home. Okay. And um, I don't know. I spend time with him, with Very good. With, with, with her. With, with her. <laughs> yes. Very good. Very good. What about you, Anna? Do you have any plans for today or tomorrow, Anna? No, teacher. <laughs> rest, rest and rest. Rest and rest. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Play with my dad. Stay with my family. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. Very yeah. good. Okay. What are you, Adriana? Do you have any plans, Diana, for today or tomorrow? No, teacher. Uh, maybe only um, I I go to I go into baseball game, but I I don't know. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Excellent. With your boyfriend. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. What about Jimmy? Do you have any plans, Jimmy, for today or tomorrow, Jimmy? Yeah, today I have class, uh, one hour of class, and okay. all the on this weekend I'm going to read a lot of stuff <laughs> because for the um, in Monday I'm going to have a presentation about uh, a scholars of phytosociology. Yeah, that is a <laughs> scholar important for well, it's like um ideology. Okay. That uh, understand. Mm, the first um, researchers of the community of plants, no? Good. So I need, uh, I'm going to talk about this. So I need to make a, a review uh, of statistics because I'm going to maybe uh, give some of the, um, some of them. <laughs> Good. And uh, it, at the same Monday, I have, uh, I mean, I'm going to give the, the first step of the teacher uh, of the, uh, on the trimester, no? Very good. So I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Very busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good, I guess. Okay. That will be all for today. Okay. Thank you for being here. Okay. And please review and study. Wait. There, the video is going to be there on the channel. And there on the video description, I will also attach the link for the waiting section, okay? Very good, my guys. Thank you. Take care. Stay healthy. Thank you, my guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. Later, later. Thank you. Thank you.